Well, hello, good people. Today, I'm going to show you how to optimize Automatic 11.11 1.6 specifically for SDXL if you have an 8 gigabyte card or less. Now, I will say this isn't because of the update. This is more because I missed a critical step when I did my own testing. Let me show you first. So these are the settings that I used. SDXL base model, 30 steps, Euler Ancestral, 1024 by 1024, CFG scale at seven. And this is where the magic happens, tiled VAE. These are the speeds I was getting for 768 by 1064, 16, 16, 16, and at 1024 by 1024, 22, 22, 23, respectively. Now, just to prove it to you, here's a live preview that I had to do on my phone because recording in the background and recording my screen does take a lot of VRAM. So you see it here at 20 seconds, counting down as I kill time just for this to finish so that I don't have to edit it and you can see we're at four seconds. Now, usually at 97%, it hangs for a while, but now you'll see it finishes right away, 22 seconds for 1024 by 1024. So the first thing you want to do if you want to update to automatic 11.11 1.6, head over to your main stable diffusion web UI folder, highlight the address bar, type in CMD. You'll get the command window. All you have to do is type in git pull, assuming you installed git and you installed it manually, hit enter and it's going to update. Mine says already updated because that's what I did. Now, before you even start automatic 11.11, open up your web UI user.bat file, right click, show more options. You can use a regular notepad. So once you've opened up the file under your command line arguments, you want to put in dash dash xformers. Now, if you're like me and you have an eight gigabyte card or less, I've got a 3060 Ti. What's new with 1.6 is MedVRAM SDXL. Now this is a benefit if you're running SD 1.5, MedVRAM will only apply to SDXL models. I would try it without no half VAE at first. So I can't really tell if it made a significant difference, but it did shave off a few seconds. Make sure to click on save up here and start automatic 1111. Once you have automatic 1111 running, head over to your extensions, go to available, type in tile in the search field here. Look for tiled diffusion with tiled VAE. You're gonna see here, it's got a little blurb and it says along with a VRAM efficient tiled VAE script. Click on install, go back to the install tab here, apply and restart automatic 1111. Now you'll notice that when you scroll down, you're gonna have two sections here. Open up tiled VAE. You wanna check on enabled tiled VAE. Fast encoder and fast decoder should be on by default. Try it with 96 at first. You can also try 64. Otherwise, I would just leave the default settings. Hit generate and go. Now your first generation might be a bit longer, but your next generation should be quite a lot faster. Now shout out to Double Bob for kind of pushing me in this direction. He told me that it was live previews that was taking up all that time. He was sort of right, but not exactly. If you go into your settings under live preview here, you can remove live previews to gain maybe two to three seconds. For me, it wasn't more than two seconds. And if you like live previews on, you can set this to like 10. Let's say you do 30 steps, you could set that to 10. But it got me thinking about the whole decoding process. That can take quite a few seconds to do. Now I'm gonna leave links in the description below where you can read about this, but basically it's listed here. When you enable tiled VAE, it can dramatically save your VRAM usage on the VAE encoding and decoding process. VAE decoding is like the last step of the generation where basically it takes all the noise and converts it back to pixels. And instead of bringing it back as one complete image, it does it in four separate tiles. And the benefits is that it saves your VRAM at no cost. For those of you that have better graphics cards, you might not even need med VRAM. 
You may also be able to do high res fix at a greater scale and it could help speed up upscaling too. So if you get the dreaded CUDA out of memory error, this could help with that. Now the problem is that video I did a couple of weeks back about the speed tests, that video didn't age well and I may have to redo it. So if we look at the chart here, automatic 1111 is in blue. Now competing with Comfy UI and is actually on par with it, slightly faster, but more on that in a second. Faster than Invoke AI at this resolution, but even at 1024 by 1024, slightly behind Comfy UI, faster than Invoke AI, which impressed me. But now it's got me thinking, do these other platforms have a means for me to enable tiled VAEs? So I got to re-record that video before the trolls come. As for the rest of update 1.6, I'm sure you've already watched the other content creators. Let me know in the comments below what you like most. And of course, if these settings helped you increase your speed, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if it didn't, I don't know, man. I've looked at every nook and cranny for optimizations. Until next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.